Well, some Kennesaw State students and community activists rallied today in support of those cheerleaders who took a knee during the national anthem at a KSU football game recently. Channel 2's Richard Elliott live in Cobb County with why some people believe that the rallies, uh, the, 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 the cheerleaders need their support. Here, Richard. The cheerleaders told me themselves that KSU was not taking any disciplinary actions against them at all, but at the same time, they say they uh, were not allowed back on the field for the anthem during last weekend's football game. About two dozen protesters took a knee just across the street from Kennesaw State University campus to show their support for the so-called Kennesaw Five, the five cheerleaders shown in this photo taking a knee during the national anthem at the September 30th football game. So we stand here as Kennesaw State students to say we support those five girls with anything they want to do and everything they want to do. We sat down with the five girls on Tuesday. They said they did it to put a light on social injustice and what they say is police brutality, but they admit they didn't expect it to get national and international experience. We didn't expect it to get as big as what we did, but we definitely knew that it was going to be something that got attention, and we wanted that attention to make sure that we made our statement and our voices were heard. State lawmaker Earl Earhart to Powder Springs didn't question their right to protest, just the place and time. Quote, if we allow KSU cheerleaders a venue without restriction, can we restrict a player with a Confederate flag? Can we restrict Klan scum with a hood? Viewpoint discrimination is a slippery slope. Other students said the cheerleaders' actions have started a conversation that needed to be had. We won't back down. This is why we have seen unprecedented amount of support outpouring, even nationally, that we will stand with these students day after day. Now, these cheerleaders uh, told me that if they are back on the field for the national anthem, they will take a knee again. We are live in Cobb County, Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.